days ago, I turned 18. To celebrate, my family decided to organize a gathering and invite everyone they possibly could. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, I didn't mind becoming an adult surrounded by my closest friends and family, but something really did bother me about the event. Every time I came up to an aunt or an uncle or any other relative, some of which I haven't seen for months, the first thing they asked me was, what are your plans after high school? When I was in kindergarten, I wanted to become a teacher. At the age of 12, I decided that I will pursue an acting career. Recently, I had a phase in which I really, really wanted to be a midwife. Throughout the long 18 years of my life, I've had so many ideas about who I will become and where I will study, but now, I'm clueless. You know, the need to make a choice always seemed so distant. I felt like I had so much time to explore and make the choice, but I don't. And so whenever I answered to my relatives and said that I don't know who I want to be, they seemed really confused. It's as if they expected me to have my whole life planned out. Some were quick to offer advice on how great it would be to become a lawyer or doctor. And all I could do was nod and smile. Everyone is making it seem as if this choice was the most important choice in my life. I've been giving countless personality tests and advice from counselors on how to make the right choice. Because after all, the choice of my major is the most important choice in my life, right? According to a study done by Penn State University, 75% of American students change their major at least once during their college experience. On average, a student changes their major three times. Furthermore, even after graduation, over 50% of students end up in jobs that are in no way related to their major. And I really wonder why. I want you to take a second and think, how many of you knew at the age of 18 that you will become a teacher? See, some of my friends can't even decide what to wear in the morning, and we're expecting them. <laughs> And we're expecting them to make such an important choice. This need to make an, a choice and declare a major and have our future planned out leads us to not follow our desires and passions, but rather to listen to what our parents want us to do. I have a friend. Her mom fed her the idea that she will become a doctor for several years now. And so when it came time to decide IV subjects, she decided that she will pursue that career. These are the requirements for IB, uh, for medicine at Oxford University, my friend's top choice. As you can see, she had to take high level biology and chemistry. And everything was going great until a few weeks ago, she realized that chemistry and biology just aren't her thing. Now, she's stuck with subjects that really challenge her on a path to a career that she really doesn't want to pursue. And Worst of all, she doesn't have the heart to tell her mother. Now, I believe parents should have a really big role in helping us decide our future, but at the end of the day, we do have to make that choice on, by ourselves. My mom always says that parents are there to give us wings and roots, but we have to learn to fly on our own. In around six months, I'm gonna have to make the choice. I will decide if I wanna go to the United States and study as undecided, or maybe go to the UK and declare a major. But whatever choice I make, I will have to do it, make the choice by myself, and no one can do it for me. But I do wonder, maybe there's a way to let students enter higher education with more options open. Maybe there's a way to let them explore careers while they're still in high school and go beyond the core subject of math, science, and English. Maybe that we should let students know that this choice will not dictate their whole life. And while it is an important one, the options will still be open for them. And maybe then we could have a more happier and successful workforce. Thank you.